Hello, welcome to SS Unitech. So see this side and this is continuation of SQL Server Performance Tuning. So today we are gonna discuss about SQL page splits. In the last video of this video series, we have discussed about SQL pages. If you haven't watched, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where you can understand about the SQL pages. So let's start with SQL page splits. So what is page split? So page split occurs on SQL pages when a row is required to insert or update into certain page and page doesn't have enough space for this operation. When it happens, page splits into two pages and some data from page 1 will move to page 2. Next is, this involves the normal I.O. of inserting a row but the same time updating indexes as well hence it takes a lot of I.O. Next is, certain amount of page splits is normal and expected but too many page splits cause the performance issue. So, how we can avoid these page splits we will discuss in this video. So as we can see we have two pages page 1 and page 2. This is our initial page and page 1 contains 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6 and this page 1 is full and page 2 would contain 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 and we want to insert 4 that is new data into the table. Then this should go in page 1 according to the index. And as we can see page 1 doesn't have the space so page 1 will be split into two parts page 1.1 and page 1.2 so page 1.1 will have 1 2 3 and 4 that is our new data and 5 and 6 will move to second page that is page 1.2 and page 2 will have the same so this is the basic idea about the page split so here we have few key points first is Trace on 3604. So what is this? So it is used to send the output to the log and this statement is used to redirect the output to the client executing the command. So we will see in the action in this video. Next is dbcc page and dbcc ind. So these two commands are used to find out if page split occurs. For example, as we can see dbcc page, so here we need to specify database name, then file number, then page number, then print option. So in print option we can specify 0, 1, 2 and 3 according to our requirement. So here as we can see print option 0, so it print just the page header as we have discussed page would have 3 section, page header, data row and offset. Next is if we will specify 1 then it will display page header and per page hexadecimal dump then 2 page header plus whole page hexadecimal dump next is 3 that is page header and detail per row interpretation so go to on SQL Server management studio where you can see how page split occurs as we can see this is the script and here I just want to check if table is exist or not if table exists then I just want to drop the table so let me drop the table command executed successfully now I just want to create this table so as we can see this table has two columns name and team and name would have 500 bytes and team would have 500 bytes so it would have total 1000 bytes for each row so let me execute this query to create the table so table created successfully now let me insert a record on this table so we can insert one row affected now we can check yes data inserted successfully now this is the command where we can find the information about the page how many pages we have and we can also check the page type over here so let me execute this query so as we can see this is the partition number partition id this is the page type so this is 10 and 1 as we have discussed in previous video page 10 for ima page and page type 1 for data page so this is for data page and page id is 2488 so let me copy this and go to on this query and here as we can see trace on here we need to specify the page number so this is our page number now once we want to execute this we have to use the trace on otherwise let me execute this it will not going to return any output so first of all we need to dbcc trace on then I just want to execute this so here we can get the information about the page so go down 
so this is the page header as we have discussed section 1 go down and this is the data page as we have discussed section 2 and it would have the information so as we can see Virat Kohli as we have inserted one record on this so this is Virat Kohli now go down second column is India so we are getting the India now we can go down and this is offset of the table so we have three sections and by using this dbcc command we can check the three sections but here we have only a single page now if i want to insert some record on this so let me insert few record on this table because initially we have only one record on this table and it would have only thousand bytes so let me execute this query data should be inserted in this table and we can check the data so now we have nine records it means 9000 bytes so 9000 bytes data shouldn't contain in a single page so page split should be there now we can check by using dbcc command so this is the command we need to execute and here as we can see this is page 1 and this is page 2 so for this page we can check the page type is 1 and page type is 1 it means both are data pages so now go to on dbcc page command and execute the query now here we can check it will have the Virat Kohli that is fine India that is also fine second record is MS Dhoni that is good India that is good third is Yuraj that is also good then India that is fine Glenn Maxwell Australia that is also fine and here we have James Michael Anderson that is also fine then England that is good Alastair Cook that is also good then England then on the Russell West Indies so we have all these data now let me execute our select statement and here we have data up to under Russell so here so these seven records are available in this page so in second page it should have the Chris Gale and five duplices now go to on the DBCC command and this time I just want to change the page number that is 2489 let me execute this query and here go to on the data pages inside this data we can see Chris Gale that is fine next should be duplices so go here five duplices so these two records are moved into second page so as we can see page splits occurred and few data from page 1 is moved to page 2 so here as we can check for DBCC page here we can specify print option that is 0 in this DBCC page for 0 let me execute this query so this should have only page header now scroll down and we can see this is page header and it shouldn't contain any other information for 0 as we have checked for 1 and we can also check for 2 so it will contain the hexadecimal dump so this is our page and page number go down page header that is also fine inside this data as we can see we have some hexadecimal dump so this is the hexadecimal dump with the data now we can check for 3 and let me execute and this is our page then go down page header that is fine in the data page we have Chris Gale but here as we can see it has few more information this is our page number and it has the information like jam allocated and uh, primary records memory dump and many more information so this will be used if required so i hope you have understand how sql pages are split into two pages so if you have still any doubt you can comment on this video so i'll respond for the same thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. Thank you so much.